be doing today is um well, yeah all right we'll be looking at how to use RPM to automate a native mobile application and um, what we're going to be doing is uh, we'll, be, we'll create a, a Maven project on IntelliJ we are going to add the dependencies again as a recap of last week uh, we're going to connect our devices um, to uh, Android device to our laptop. We're going to use RPM, start RPM server, and then we will write some uh, Java code to do the automation here. All right, so I'm just going to I'm just going to go to maybe now. I'm sorry to IntelliJ now. One second. All right, so we're going to start a new project. Uh, it's going to be a Maven project, yeah. So we're going to say uh, com dot native. Uh, let's say let me call it mobile. Mobile, sorry. Mobile. App testing and this one. Oh. And this one mobile app testing, all right. So where do I want to store this? I think I'll store it in my desktop. Mm. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll start with the same. Wait, yeah. Okay. And then. Okay, I have a problem using, using the same location. I'll just put it on my desktop then. We're going to add our Maven dependencies here. So what we do is we go to Maven repository. So we will be adding um, Selenium Java client and um, RPM Java client as well. So we, we go to Maven repository. And then search for Selenium. Selenium Java. So we take the uh, the the most um, stable build, which is um three point one point three point one four. So I come back here. Then I copy and paste it there. So the other one we're going to be picking up is uh, the RPM Java clients. RPM client uh, uh, so we pick seven point one point zero all right I'm going to increase my volume sorry about that so yeah so the so we've added we, we uh, we've we're adding our dependencies now to our POM. So the two dependencies that we've added is the Selenium Java client and the Appium Java client here. And once we do this, we enable auto import. And when we enable auto import, we will see that all our maybe all our external libraries are being populated. So 
once you once you've added your dependencies, the uh, Java de uh, Selenium dependency and the Appium uh, Java clients, when you expand your external libraries, you should have all these uh, for all these. Um, all these libraries uh, populated in your external libraries. If you are doing this and you are not getting the external libraries, then there's a, there's a problem. Yeah. All right. So once we've done that, we we'll go to SRC test under Java. What we do is uh, we create a new package. You can call it anything. Uh, so here I'm just going to call it um, IPM test. You can call it anything of your choice. And then under this, uh, you click, you right click, new, under, sorry, under the RPM test, you right click new and it, it, and click on new Java class. And then you call this, so let us call this um, uh, open, open map test. So, we, so the, the uh, native app that will be automating this evening is, uh, Google Maps, yeah. So let me just call it Google Map test, yeah. So it makes it more meaningful, yeah. And it's a Java class. So here we have a Java, we have um, a Java class for uh, Google Map test. And then the first thing that we we need to do is uh, we need to create a public void method. So you, uh, public, sorry, public main void static sorry string and then arguments args what am I doing? Make it static as well. So public static main void. So public static void main arg, and then the next thing for us to do is to add our maven. Uh, okay, so we've added our maven, maven de uh, dependencies. Uh, would the next thing is for us to add our uh, dependencies. So last week we talked about um, dependencies for um, for uh, automating a Chrome test. Uh, using Appium, opening a Chrome, drive, a Chrome browser on your mobile app, uh, mobile device using um, uh, using Appium. Today, well, we, there will be a slight change, and what we'll be doing is, uh, we'll be is rather than rather than using these uh, values for uh, Chrome, we'll be using app specific values. So the next thing is to go back to your IntelliJ and then type desired. Capabilities uh, equals the new desired capabilities. Uh, is, it, is it cap? Yeah, dot set capability. All right. So we'll be looking at. So um, oh, what's this? All right, so the um, so we'll still be using the device name. We'll still be using the device name, the UDID, the platform name, and the platform versions um, as our uh, for our capabilities. So I'll just I'll just copy this rather than just wasting time and then typing it all over again. I'll just copy this and paste it here. I'll tell you the ones that are going to be different today. All right, so we have so for the capabilities we have the device name, uh, we have the UDID, 
uh, to get the UDID, you have to connect to your, I'm going to show you again, you have to connect to your mobile device, uh, which I'm going to do now quickly. Just bear with me. Alright, so I've connected my mobile device now. If I go to my command prompt and type ADB devices and I click enter, I expect to see my UDID. That's it. So this is the UDID for the device. So this is what I've just uh, put here. So the Android version, uh, the platform name is Android. And then the other one is the uh, platform version, which you get from your. Uh, app your mobile phone settings so for me is my uh, my platform version is 8.0 and then we now move to the device uh, specific uh, dependencies so before we do that uh, if you go uh, let me if I bring up my uh, mobile device Alright, so the next thing is to get the uh, capability for your uh, app package and I'm just going to show you how to get the um, app package now. Uh, All right, so um, and so these are the app package and the package um, app um, app activity. They are the two main um, dependencies which are related to every and uh, each and every um, application on your mobile device that you want to automate here. So, activity. Okay, so I'm just I will be showing you how you can get this from your. Uh, you can get these um, dependencies on your mobile device. So if I go back to my mobile application, so if you go to um, Play Store and if you type uh, APK Info, APK Info is an application which you can use. So what you need to do, I've already installed this to my, my, um, to my uh, mobile phone, so what you need to do is to install this. The application is called APK Info. So this has already I've already installed this. So if I open this, and then it opens up, then it gives you the, it, it brings up all the list of all the applications uh, on your device. So uh, everything that you've installed on your device, A to Z, it lists everything out. Uh, all right. So yeah. All right, so uh, the application that we're going to be um, working on is uh, uh, the Google Map. So if I bring up Google Map, yeah, so this is Google Map. So you can see, so this is the um, app package. You, the app package is um, com.google.android.apps.maps. So I'm just going to type that here. So it's um, com.google. Uh, dot android dot second dot apps it dot maps yeah and then if I click on if I click on it it takes me into um, the application and gives me some other details so what I need to do is to scroll down to the application activities so this is the app, app application activities yeah and then the main one that you pick is the the main activity, which is the first one. So it's um, com. I think I've written it down somewhere. So I'll just pick it up. Uh, so it is. Uh, 
So this is so it is comms dot google dot android dot maps dot maps activity. Yeah. And then the next thing for, to do so th that is how to get um, uh, the application package and application activity. So if you were if you were looking at any other any other device any other um, application on your let's say you want to automate Instagram. So this is the uh, app package. You would if you download the app info um, um, software or application. So this is the app package. And then when you click on Instagram, you go into it. You scroll down to activities. You click on activities. There are 58 here. The main one is the comms dot Instagram dot main activity dot main activity. So that's the how to get the app package and app activity for any mobile um, uh, div any mobile application that you want to automate. So basically, so the next thing for us to do is to uh, declare uh, uh, create a variable for our uh, URL. The APM server URL. So, as you rightly know, last week we used um, uh, port uh, 000. Uh, we so if I let me if I bring up my APM if I load my APM server now. All right, so my APM server has been loaded. So we have the host. So uh, the host uh, host port is host port number is zero um, zero dot zero dot zero. You can also use one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. So I'm just going to create a variable for my URL. So URL URL uh, equals new uh, URL. And then, uh, what is my URL? So, let me first of all, HTTP. Forward slash uh, 127.0.0.1. Uh, color. Um, 4723. Yeah, sorry, I made a mistake here. Yeah, and there seems to be something wrong. So HTTP slash okay, double slash here, and then there's supposed to be an invite invited um in quotes. Uh, all right, so I need to resolve this. The column. So, I, so here you would have um, you would have um, uh, here it will be showing you it will be um, showing an error here. And what you need to do is to hover your um, mouse on this URL, and then uh, once you do that, it gives you the option of what it gives you the option to resolve the error. So you can click Add Exceptions to Signature Method. And once you do that, it it, it gives you through malformed exception on. Very close to the um, public active void um, expression, and here as well, what we need to do here is uh, okay. So there's I have is yeah, that's it. Okay. So this is the so you can either use this or you can use the other one, which I think we used last week, which is uh, instead of um, one to seven, you can use zero dot four zeros. So either way, either of these are the same thing. You can decide to depending on what you choose to use. So that the port number and the server and the server details. So uh, the host name and the port number. Yeah. Uh, so I ha so then you need to add um, wd slash wd slash hub hub to it as well. WD slash um, HUB. So this is the complete URL for APM server. So with the port, with the um, host name and the port name uh, and the port number. And then the next thing is to uh, get our driver. So here I'm going to declare my driver. 
So you can use uh, you can use the Appium driver. Uh, or you can, or you can use WebDriver. Uh, or you can, if you are, if you are, okay, right. So you can either use this kind, or you can use Android driver. Android. Android driver as well. But what you find out is that the Appium driver includes both the Android driver and the iOS driver. So I think it's best that you you use this one because the Appium driver because it gives you it gives you the you can use it for either the Appium or the sorry the Android or the iOS iOS one. And since we are automating a mobile device, it's best that we use the Appium driver. All right. So and then. Here we need to uh, declare a driver, create a variable for our driver to navigate to the URL. So driver is equals to new uh, up here, from driver, and then we have our URL. Come out the capabilities here. So here we are having this issue, so we need to make this static. And the reason why we are making this static is so that we can be able to um, we can be able to use the driver here as well. So if I if I um, if I if I if I try to run this now, it's going to open up Google Maps. And um, so let me just try and do that first. Yeah, so. so for you to run this, all you need to do is to come to um, your um, Java class here, where you've, where you've, um, um, you've for you to go to the um, Java class under your um, test and Java, and then right click, and then run as a test dot main. So. Uh, I need to start my I need to start my RPM server which I have, and I need to ensure. Oh, uh, so it says one error. Oh, okay. Java release version five not supported. Okay, that's fine. All right. So what we are going to do is to we are going to we are going to copy the pom from here. It's the same issue that we had la last week. Where's the pom? So we're going to copy this compiler stuff from here. So, so if I run, the, let me let me let me do the build again. Build clean, clean, rebuild project, and see if I will have any issues. Oh, is this still okay? Let me report my poem. Yeah, I think the build is working fine now, so build projects. Yeah, that's fine. So the build is successful. All right. So that's fine. So I'm going to go back, to connect my mobile device now. Yeah, so it's already connected. And I'm going to try and run this test again. So I'm when my Appium is um, server is on, and this is my mobile device. No, 
Okay, the same thing I need to see. Connection refused. Okay, so the mobile device is, is not properly connected. Just spell me. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just going to run this now again. Connection refused. So, all right, so what we are going to do now is just we're going to clear this out so that we see we don't have any error, and then we're going to run our test. So you can either so if you run your test previously, you would have it popping up on the um, well the, on this um, uh, window or on this on the drop down menu list there. So we can run it here as well by clicking the play button. All right, so my server is on, my phone is on, everything is prepared. No compilation errors. And yeah, so you can see the server running. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, yeah, that's our test. So when you look at the um, Appium um, log, you should have it 200. 200 means successful. So with these, uh, with these, um, you are being able to open up the application, and that is what we wanted. So it's so the our test passed and it's fine. So if I go back to, yeah, you can see that the error may, because I've commented out the Selenium um, POM. Uh, dependency, sorry, we don't have the Java um, language exception anymore. All right, so the next thing that we want to do here is um, I want to show you how you can then get elements uh, from your mobile application. So that's the next thing we want to do. Uh, how to? All right, so. So how to get elements from your mobile application. So what you need to do is to uh, click on this spyglass. Your phone has to be connected while you are doing this. If there's no connection to your phone, then you wouldn't be able to achieve what I want to show you now. So you need to ensure that your phone is connected to your um, uh, to your laptop and is visible on your on the screen as well. And then when you come, you go to your Appium server, you click Start Inspector, Start Inspector Session. All right, so before you even do that, yeah, okay, so you click the Start Inspector um, Session, and then you come to, you see this automatic server. So what you now then do is uh, you need to copy all the capabilities as you have them here onto the, uh, is onto this um, onto this um, uh, text box. Uh, so you you paste uh, the first one, which is device name. You call it my device, my my phone, or anything. And then you click this one. I hope you can all see my my screen. Okay, yeah. So the next one is the UDID which is this for my phone. You copy that. So you UDID and then you paste it here. So as so as you can see, as I'm copying those um, values for my capabilities, this JSON representation is being populated. So the next one is the platform name. So 
So you click the plus one and then put the platform name and the platform name is Android. You click the next one and we have the platform, is it the platforms platform version? So the platform version is uh, mine is 8.0. Yours will be different based on your mobile device. The next one is um, app package. So that is com dot google dot. Yeah, you copy all this. And then the last one is the um, app activity. Yeah, which is calm. Yeah, is the yeah the you copy everything here as well. And once you are done, uh, so you, you ensure that you've copied all the desired, all your desired capabilities, everything. App package isn't correctly spelled. Mm, okay. So when you see app package, all right, that's, thanks, thanks for spotting that. Thank you so much. Yeah. So that's why. So once you have copied all this into these. Um, automatic server, you then save and name it by anything. So the test, this is Google Maps test. So you just type Google Maps and you save. All right, so we, as I said earlier, you need to ensure that your server is running. Server is running, uh, your phone is connected. If your phone is not connected, you would have issues. Your phone has to be connected and you, you need to see the, uh, the um, power, the USB power, whatever. Power when you, like when you're charging your phone, it has to show the power sign. If that is not showing, then you you wouldn't be able to get the desired results. That's it. All right. So so you have to have the power power um, sign or uh, symbol showing that your phone is charging, and then you go back to your RPM server, you start the session. So what Appium will do is to use these desired capabilities to give you the um, user interface of your of the mobile application you are trying to automate. So if I come here, it will open up Google Maps. So, so I'm not calling the, um, uh, I'm, not call, I'm not running the test now from IntelliJ, I'm running the test using the Appium server. So Appium Inspector Session. So you can see that now, if I minimize this, you can see that uh, I have the UI of the uh, of the app on my screen, on the Appium screen. And then basically, if you just click on any of these, um, uh, for you to gather the elements, you can see that for the search uh, for the search bar, this is the X path. It's quite long, very long. And then um, here you can inspect elements. So if you go to, let's see if this arrives. Uh, yeah, this is, so another thing you can do is to, if you click here, refresh source and sc screenshots, it will give you the latest, um, the latest, your latest screen from your mobile phone. Yeah. Uh, so if I click on, if I click on this, I can see you can see that the expert has changed. So if I if I go through an action on my phone, let me bring up the screen of my phone here. So this is my actual phone. So if I click on this direction, so if I if I click on the direction of here and I refresh this, I should see it should this should be updated as well. Okay, so, and um, to get the element on the screen, all you need to do is to hover on top of the uh, search field or whatever that you are trying to automate. 
So if I, so you can see that the values are changing. If I click on that, the values here are changing. If I click on this, the values are changing. So they are mostly experts, and this is where you need to start, you know, customizing your experts to get the values, to get the elements that you require. Some of them have IDs, but majority of them are experts. So like, okay, like this one has an ID. Navigate up. That's the ID for that one. So. Yeah, if I go back to my mobile phone and then if I refresh my screen here. So whatever, so basically anytime you refresh, you, you update, uh, it gives you the latest uh, version, the latest um, screenshot of your mobile application there, of, your, of the app on your mobile device. So let's try and type something here. So if I copy this, uh, the, the best way is to do Control C to copy the export. It's quite long. Uh, just bear with me a second. Now we're going to write some. So uh, we, since we're using mobile elements, we mobile elements. And then on our on our UI inspector, we have we are clicking on search. Here. All right, before we do that, I want to be sure that this is the landing page. All right, so I'll just use the expert for now. But it's it's quite dynamic. Sometimes it gives you an ID. So mobile elements is equals to mobile element search bar. equals to driver dot find element by what by we're using expert in this on this occasion and then we'll we'll close it with so and what are we doing on search we are we are going to send some keys search dot send keys and what keys the word is set um, let's say uh, London Bridge yeah yeah okay so let's see if this is going to open up so at the moment we are, we are not interested in in this UI inspector, we're interested in the RPM server and the phone connection here. So, bell me. All right, so I'm just going to. All right. I'm going to run the test now. My server is on, my mobile phone is ready. So the tests. Yeah, up here is ready as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yep. All right. So that's it. The test passed there. So we are, we told um, the test to uh, go to Google Maps and um, type send keys London Bridge into the search bar. Uh, 